Hello and welcome. This is Ghost Dimension Flying Solo. Coming up on Ghost Dimension. Hopefully that stirred it up a little bit. A weird noise. If the camera pick that up. And this is this is mental. That was a witch. That was a witch. Tonight we investigate outside and meddle with forces unknown in one of the UK's most haunted locations. <laughs> we are in a place synonymous for witches and witchcraft, Pendle in Lancashire, home of the Pendle Witches. Previously on Ghost Dimension Flying Solo. I don't know whether it's the pipes that's creaking, well, there's a noise. I don't know if they can hear it. I'm sure I heard, as I panned, which is freaking me out quite a lot. This isn't going, but if it does, I'll tell you, this is a K2 meter. I heard, as well as the birds, I heard a man's groaning laugh. A weird atmosphere. I can't even see now. I'm just going to show you again. I mean, that cloud has just descended. Somebody touched me, man. I felt it. I'm just trying to see if we can see anything. Before we return to our investigation of Pendle Hill, we hear from psychic medium Para from Oklahoma to see what she senses we will face tonight. Hello, I'm Para. I'm a medium from Oklahoma, and Sean had me review four photos from the Pendle Hills, um, or the Pendle Hill Witches. Uh, the first to approach me was more of a like sister creature. He had uh, three glowing amber eyes, and I could see him peeking uh, in and out between the trees. He leaves strange footprints on the ground and he spoke only one thing to me and it was, I am collecting stones. I don't know if that's a cultural reference or something. Um, I do know that stones is a unit of measurement. <sighs> he wouldn't show any more of himself than his eyes. He stayed pretty much a shadow the whole entire time. I had more than 50 human spirits uh, approach me. They had their hands out wanting me to help them. I started feeling lightheaded and I could hear their gasping breaths um, almost as they were drowning. Um, I took more than one day to try to read this location because since there were so many spirits, I was trying to get specific information from them, their names, their birth dates, their death dates, but no one could tell me their name. I felt maybe like a flood had crossed this uh, the land or something. Um, or since they couldn't tell me their names, their cemetery may have been washed away or is covered in water now. Um, I did get one name, but I felt like they were lying to me. I heard the, uh, the name Joseph, but it didn't feel right. There was something wrong about that. Um, it just, I felt like they were trying to almost lure me with that name. Um, I did end the reading sooner than I had wanted to because the human spirit seemed to be pulling me deeper into the forest and I felt trapped. The sinister spirit, I do believe, is using these human spirits um, as bait um, to get people, you can almost hear their voices calling and echoing through the woods. And you know, when somebody hollers, help, you want to go help them. Um, the next picture showed like a little road and some hills pretty much. It wasn't to anything really specific in it, um, which triggered my hearing. I could hear the clip-clop of horses' hoofs and the creaks of wagon wheels. Um, even though the road may have not necessarily been there, I believe that this place is well-traveled. Like many people crossed this path. So. Uh, one woman did come forward to me. Um, she's solitary. She's angry. And when I asked for her name, she said, Thy name has been forgotten. 
And I asked her why, and she couldn't tell me. She just, my, I, thy name has been forgotten. So I don't know if she never had a gravestone. Makes me think she's never had a gravestone, which would could be a reason why she does not remember her own name. She did tell me a name, um, Rose, but it's not hers. I'm also feeling like she lost a child or a child in her family because the next thing she whispered to me was a death misunderstood. I do feel like those human spirits were a trap um, to lead you deeper into the forest. I just hope nothing followed Sean and Beck's home because I almost feel like something did. So good luck in the Pendled Hills. <laughs> It was interesting to hear what Power had sensed from Oklahoma, and would this ring true on our investigation tonight? Let's continue and find out. Okay, I've just been speaking off camera to um, one of the farmers that's here, and they wouldn't come on camera. And if I'll show you this road, you can see it. On this road, they say they witnessed um, I heard a weird noise, and as I'm telling you this, they witnessed um, a carriage, a carriage going up and down. And there's no carriages that come up and down this road, so I'm got to investigate it. You can still hear lots of the sheep, but I also spoke to some of the crew, and I was doing when I was doing my lone vigil before. They saw a figure run along this tree hedge line here. Chill, shit. Okay, there was some footsteps behind me then. They saw a sort of figure runner along this tree line and it actually came up to me, which would tie in with the fact that I felt all those negative feelings before. So I've got the K2 with me again, if you can see it. And if that goes off, then we know we've got some of the witches with us. Alice? Are you here? Can you communicate with me? Let me know you're here. Go in a bit. Is that you? Okay, so managed to find some uh, woods up on Pendle Hill, and again we have the rem on the floor. So we've got the uh, periscope. I'm just going to try a little bit of calling out here. See if anything happens. I do believe that uh, I had somebody close by. I've just seen a streak of light travel along the floor. And that was weird because there's. There's no light up here. There's no light pollution. So that was a tad odd. I'm going to try and hold this camera a bit steadier. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see if I'm alone here. Alice Nutter. And Chattox. Any Chattox? Demdike. Are there any of the witches here? Are there any of the Pendle witches here with me now? I heard a near a carriage. I heard. What the fuck was that? Hello? What's down there? I swear to God, I heard something down there. Let me just pan and see if we see anything. Oh, okay, what was that? 
I thought I saw something in there then. Maybe I didn't, maybe I did. I heard another noise. As I was panning that, we would have got that on the audio. The reason I'm whispering is I don't want to miss any of the activity that may be here. So if something does happen, I don't want to miss it. Let me just go over to this side. More woodland. Listen. Listen. Hello? Footsteps or something. Maybe I, I heard footsteps or... I know it's just going to sound crazy, but maybe it was a carriage. And again, patter patter. Hello, are you coming towards me? Come right up to me, I've got a meter in my hand and it'll go off and it'll flash different lights if you're here. Or speak into my camera, right into it and I'll, I'll be able to play it back and hear it. Are you around me? Every, is it more every time I go over here towards these trees? Which I'll show you again. It's like they don't want me there, maybe they practice some sort of witchery, witchcraft here. And this is where they probably would have hid, so we've done it. You can see this that I've got in my hand. You'll see the box on the floor with the silver stick protruding. Can you please go towards either one? If you can hear this uh, sheep about. Is there anybody here with me? I'm going to turn it this way. Can anybody at all just come and let me know that you're here? That was a, a weird noise. I don't know if the camera picked that up. That was an odd noise. Sounded like somebody went, ooh. As far as I know, there's nobody up here with me. We have split up. Sean's gone to investigate one area. I'm not sure where he's gone. And I'm here, and he probably doesn't know where I am. So we're pretty much on our own at the moment. I get no responses on the K2, which is good because I'm on the road. And I'm happy that there's no responses right now because I'm on my own again. But I think it was before there was definitely somebody surrounding. And it's like, I'm just going to go up here. It's like a path, I didn't see this before. A path, and it leads to a gate. Can you see that? Instantaneously as I'm coming into this, this wooded area in Pendle Hill already I'm not feeling safe and I feel like there's a thousand eyes watching me. I really do. It's not good. It doesn't feel safe at all. Okay, if you're here now, I'm here. I want to see that you're real. If you, practice, if you were a witch and you practice witchcraft, I want you to come close to me Come and speak to me. Come and touch me like you did before. Come and poke me. I'm on my own. You can do what you want. Let me show you and see. Well, let me. You, this is my eyes. It's just getting darker and darker, and this is my eyes. And if anything's approaching me, I want to be able to see that it's approaching me. Walk in front of my camera. There's a lot of fog on here, but this is purely because we are in the top of the hill. And 
it's you know we're in a cloud effectively which all that and like Paul said before earlier it also doesn't always end well when there's fog okay Alice you seem to react before when I called out your name Alice are you here are you able to contact me Alice it's a weird feeling in here I don't know if you can see the close proximity of the trees you can hear the sheep just feel like uh, you're kind of closed in it's not a good feeling here I sort of feel like uh, you're not alone, you're being watched. It's a weird, weird, weird atmosphere. Could just be because you, you know I'm surrounded by trees. Can't really see anything clearly. There's no, no means of escape. Come on. You were doing something before I heard you walking and somebody saw you fly across. One of the crew members saw you fly across. Come on, Alice. I want to speak to you and I want to communicate. But you've got to do something for me. Copy my whistle. No. Thank you. Is that you, Alice? Can you come and light this up if you whistle back at me? Can you light? Thank you again. No way. <gasps> Look. I got the whistle and the K2 meters reacted again. And my hairs on my back of my neck are going up again. Thank you so much. Am I annoying you that I'm here? Light this to red. Take it all the way to red if I'm annoying you. Am I? Oh, that was a big response then. It just kicked in and my heckles went up again. That was strange and that was really weird. Are you, try are you trying to put these feelings of weird weirdness onto me? Yes. Are you going to do some more to us tonight, Alice? Are you affecting Paul as well? Yes. Thank you. That's weird. It's just, again, there's no explanation of why we should be receiving this K2 activity. Nothing is, nothing's going off. None of the devices are going off. That doesn't mean anything, to be honest, because we hope that the, the instruments that we use, that the spirit know how to use them and interact with them. But to be honest, we don't know anything about how spirit energy works. <clears throat> so we can't really say that the equipment that we use is going to definitely do the job. We hope it is, but we don't really know. Sorry, Sean, if you're doing the edit, it looked like there was something crawling on me and I hate spiders. <clears throat> Meanwhile, I'm back in the forest. Doesn't seem to be a lot going on. Just feelings, and you can't document feelings. You can't uh, say it's evidence because it's not. Yeah, rem on the floor. Hasn't gone off this time. Like it did before and I missed it. 
bloody sod's law that is. Anybody here at all? Anybody that would like to let me know that you're here in the woods with me? Anybody at all? I'm going to walk down the road to prove the fact. And when I come out of the... Oh! Out of those woods, a metre should. Well, I thought it wasn't going to go off, but it still is. Look, it's gone. It's stopped purely. Why has it stopped? So it's, it's stopped. And it's teasing me. If I say it stops, it starts. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're following me. I'm back on the path. You're trying to lead me somewhere. Are you happy you've got me on your own? <sighs> no way. I'm gonna, whoa, that's it, that went to red. As soon as I moved out of the way, it went to red. Look, there's a the camera. Should take it to red, Alice. Amazing. Oh, it's going again. Look, oh, that's, that's good to red. Thank you. Thank you so much. Alice? If you are Alice, take it to red. If you're somebody else, cut it off. No way. Oh, it's gone back over. I don't know. This is weird. I'm getting sort of, sort of weird responses. I don't know if I'm dealing with Alice or if I'm dealing with a different entity, a different witch. When I talk about somebody else, it stops. But when I talk about Alice, it goes and lights up. Amazing. I just turned the camera off again. And as soon as I did, there was a noise. And a cold blast. So I'll turn the camera back on again. It has gone cold. Really, really cold now. There is a weird, eerie feeling like I'm being watched. Not liking this. Gonna spin it round. See if there's anybody behind me. Paul and I both had experiences and felt like we were being watched. It was like the calm before the storm. We move deeper into Pendle Hill to investigate further, which leads to dramatic consequences. So I've come back out, I've just got my coat on because it's raining. Um, I'm coming out to see if I can encourage any more of this witchcraft, witchery uh, from these Pendle Hill witches, Pendle witches, um, to come out and interact with me. This time I brought a torch because uh, I really need to see anything that's here because last time I came I couldn't see anything and this time I can point and show you uh, what I am seeing. I'm just going to get into a shaded part here to stay out of the rain to maximise the chances of me hearing something as well. So let's uh, see if we can encourage them to come out. Pendle Hill is really really big. It's really big around here and there's so much ground to cover so I'm, we're trying to cover as much ground as we possibly can um, and see if these witches will come out and, and uh, communicate with us. I'm just checking my footing on the floor is fine so yeah, it is, okay. Right, if there's any witches here with me, can you communicate? Can you come forward again? Speak to me, or use your voice, or whistle like you did before, whistle back at me. Um, my name's Sean, I'm a paranormal investigator, and I'm going solo tonight, on my own, in Pendle Hill, trying to communicate with you. And I'm not liking it at all. 
but it'll still have rag in it. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm in some more woods on Pendle Hill. And uh, the cloud has really, really come down now. And with the cloud comes the rain. Absolutely bouncing down. We're not here for the weather. So I've got nothing with me. I'll set nothing up. I really just want to see if I can kind of try and tune into to the area, try and tune into the, the, the hill, everything. Not rely on the gadgets so much. Just see if, uh, see if I can pick anything up and see if anything happens. It'd be nice if. Uh, you call it something. Can you use your voice and communicate with me? Are you there? Copy my whistle. <whistles> As you can see up here. It's just pure black. It's pitch black. We're in the middle of this cloud and this is just a field above this brow here. I've just came into the trees just to get a bit of shelter. I'm sure that now I heard that whistle. Make a little bit of a whistle back at me. Is that the best you can do? Just whistle at me. Fully show yourself. Let's Turn the camera around and show yourself on this camera. Oh, okay. Okay. Somebody was walking here. I know you can miss strew the sound of, um, of, of footsteps in the rain. But I'm sure somebody, something was shi uh, shining, something shining the torch, trying to see where I'm going. Something was here making a noise. Listen. So you can hear my feet stamping. Oh, you heard that. Is that you, hey? Are you trying to frighten me? And it just got darker. I know it's a weird question, but did you make it darker? Do your witches cackle and cackle at me and laugh at me? Is it you I heard laughing earlier? Is there anybody here? Any of the Pendle Witches? Wow, now I've just said that and it's starting to bounce down even more. I'm trying to keep the camera dry. Okay, came down, eased off. This has happened before. I've been here before and the weather has reacted. As crazy as that might sound, we, we've conducted uh, a seance and we were doing yes no and the weather was kind of responding it was getting wild for yes and you know calm for no and then when we finished <coughs> the the weather just it changed it had been bouncing down and then when we closed the seance down it, it, it just the rain stopped the wind stopped i mean it had been howling it just it, it stopped so we've got similar kind of weather be interesting to see so I'm going to call out. There are only the Pendle witches here. Demdike, old Chattox, Annie Chatter, Annie, 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 Alice, Alice Nutter. Is Alice Nutter here? Annie Chattox, Alice and Devise. We could even try John Law. Now John Law was the person that. Uh, was um, something happened to him on the road as he passed Alison Devise and he was struck down and he blamed 
her. Uh, the speculation is that he actually had a stroke. What's that? Was it? I saw the insect, but I heard something behind me. Hello? I'm sure I heard something, then we would have got that on the audio. There was a, a noise, I'm not sure what that was. Let me see if I can see anything. I'll show you again on the camera, let's have a look. So you've got this road I've driven up to get here. You've got these trees across the road. You've got, let me show you, like another wall, and across there is like a dip. There's quite a few dips around here. I don't know what's more terrifying. Being in the, the woods on your own, or actually knowing these maybe witches hundreds and hundreds of years old that I wanted to carry on doing their witchcraft and potentially scare the living daylights out of you. Hello? Come forward. Communicate with me. Tell me your name. Knock on something, make a bang. Make a bang noise for me. Bang on one of these trees. Hello? Whoa. What the hell was that? Where I just heard. I'm just checking. Somebody's voice. I don't know if it was a laugh or something. I don't know what it was. Let me just have a look a bit further. I don't know what it was. I can't see a bloody thing. It's just road up there. Look. It's like a road to nowhere. This is one of the freakiest investigations I've ever done. It's like Paul said again earlier, if it's raining and the cloud comes in and the fog comes down, not only does it set the atmosphere, but it sort of kicks from it off. And maybe that's because you know, witches and stuff like to have foggy atmosphere. But every time you stood here doing something, you feel the atmosphere tensing onto you. It's not normal. Hello? I'm going to pan this camera again. Are you here? Walk in front of this camera. I want to see you. If that was you using your voice before to communicate with me, show me. Show yourself in this light. Come forward. I call you out, you witches. If you were trialled and hung for witchcraft, show yourself and come forward. Or are you too frightened? You, you did all of the witchcraft and you did nasty things to people, but yet you can't come out and show yourself to me. Hopefully that stirred it up a little bit. Is there anybody here? Anybody at all? If you don't want me here, that's fine. All you've got to do is let me know. Just stood right in the middle of a, a dense clump of trees. Trying to stay dry as well as calling out for anything that might be here. 
the rain's coming down again. All I want you to do is let me know, can you throw something? Can you make a noise? Don't mean yet any harm or disrespect, I don't know whether you really were witches or whether it was a, a stitch up, I don't know. I'm not a judgmental person, I'm just here to find out if you're anywhere around here right now. Just want to make contact with you. I just saw something there on the other side of this tree. I just saw what looked like a shadow just around here. Again, I'm on my own. Sean's gone off and done his own thing, done his own vigil. We're, we're a good distance apart, so well, I saw a mist then. Well, it wasn't me breathing because I wouldn't be able to breathe that way. Alone. I don't mean the sheep. I'm going to show you. You've got to bear in mind right now, this is in infrared. So you can see a lot more than I can see because it is very, very dark in this clump of uh, trees. I can't see a great deal, but I do feel that I'm not alone. It makes me feel a bit, I feel, even though it's raining, it's cold, I actually feel warm now. So I'm not sure if I've, if I've stirred something up here. And I'm not looking forward to the side effects or the effects that I might have stirred up. I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't have stirred it up. Okay. What the hell is that? Jesus Christ. You just don't know what you're going to get. It's just really, really weird. It's eerie. And I'm not liking it. Let me just venture out. See what I can see here. So this is the uh, the side of the road. Let me have a look what's over there. So you can see it's ju it's just a field again of trees and stuff. There's nobody around here. It's just me and these goddamn witches. I feel quite. quite dizzy, quite faint. I'm just gonna reposition myself here. It's like these trees have kept some energy and they've seen so much over the years. And maybe some, uh, I believe that some of these trees would have been here during the times of the witches and that. And I, I'm not being presumptuous, but I, I think that They've got some stories to tell and some of the energies from the witches may have still be inside of these, these trees. I just feel a very, very faint now. And I don't know if that's the witches putting that on me or if it's just the atmosphere of what I'm experiencing around here. It's got pitch black, I can't see a thing. And I don't feel very, very safe at all, whatsoever. It's, it's, it's mental. Listen. Listen, listen. Hello? See you, man.
Where's it over there? I know you're gonna get natural noises and creaks and stuff in these woods and in these hills. But you shouldn't hear unnatural noises. That's what I'm hearing. Okay, I'm just gonna whistle again. And I can't believe, like, I'll, I'll sh can't believe that people saw some stuff on the team before. It's amazing. If you, if anybody's ever been up here, I think you'll agree that you always feel like yeah, there's eyes watching you. you you're never, you're never alone anywhere. And I said it before. There's a strange atmosphere that, that surrounds Pendle Hill. And whether you can tie that to the, the witches and the legends of witchcraft, whether it's imagination, psychology, well, there is something here. I mean, if, if there have been rituals of black magic practiced, if there have been packs with the devil made, then there's going to be something to this land. That's not just going to go. But it's, uh, it's, what is it? Is it just something that lingers here or is it something that can actually make something happen to you? I don't know. Definitely. I don't know. I don't know. I'm saying definitely. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know whether the, the, there is. It feels... I, I saw the shadow back here before. The mist, which wasn't my breath and there's nobody, there was nobody behind me. There's nobody else here. If there was anybody moving, I mean, you can see on the ground, look. You know, where I'm stood right now. You know, you'd hear somebody moving around me. There isn't anybody. It's just me right now. So, where the mist came from, I don't know. It doesn't happen very often. I'm getting a bit freaked right now. Uh... Don't know. I'm going to call out one more time. Is there anybody here? Pendle witches. No. Anybody at all? I mean you absolutely no harm or disrespect. I'm not getting a good feeling right now. I'm really not. And I'm being bloody eaten alive by something. Yeah, I think... Uh, I think that's enough. That's enough. I'm going. I'll see you soon. Can you please shout out your name to me? I know Alice is one of the most popular names that comes out here. You're infamous for being a witch at Pendle Hill. Please come forward, Alice. Shout one of your spells. Were you hung in Pendle? Were you hung as a witch? If any of my information's wrong or correct, correct me. Alice. I am all alone, Alice. I, I was going to say I'm a goat in your game. The reason I stuttered then is because there was a rustle in the tree and I'm just trying to see if it was a bird or if it was something else. I'll show you what I'm looking at. It was over here where the torch is pointing. There was something in the tree. And literally that is here. It's next to my head. You can't... I wouldn't, I wouldn't have missed it. It's like she shook the tree. Thank you, Alice, if that was you. Shit. Yeah, thank you again if that was you. The activity. 
this is like hundreds and hundreds of years ago that this happened you know and this is this is mental this level of activity for I'm so sorry so 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 sorry let me just flick this torch around okay I'm so sorry so sorry yeah 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 okay there was, there was something beside me, and I don't know if we got that on the camera. You know what, I saw a black figure beside me. I saw a black figure beside me. I'm just trying to pan because I'm not feeling this now. I'm not feeling safe. I know I summoned it. I'm not feeling safe. I'm just going to ask for it. Let me show you around. Let's see if we can see something. Shit, shit, shit. What's this? I know I'm panning quite fast. I'm just trying to see if I can see anything. It was right here next to me. So I've zoomed in. Oh! No way! Shit man, no way! You would have heard that. No way. That was a witch. That was a witch. Somebody screamed. He went, no way. That is crazy. I see the shadow and then there's a scream. And I saw something else then. Don't know what it was, it was like a small dog on this road. That's freaking me out. Let me just see if I can see anything again. I felt rough, I felt a bit lightheaded. Something flew past me and then there was a scream in the woods and there's been footsteps. I'm just making sure I'm safe. That's all I'm doing, I'm just checking around with the camera. I'm sorry. Yeah. I know you can see what I can see what I'm seeing now anyway. Just looking to see if I can see anything. Pendle Hill. It is not disappointing. I had witnessed a shadow figure followed by a deathly scream, so I decided to head back to the car for safety. What happened next confirmed my beliefs that the Pendle witches had been following us all night. <clears throat> I've just finished my vigil. We've got in and well we're about we tried to demiss the wind, didn't we? Yeah. And we're still doing the Pendle Hill investigation, and the car wouldn't come out of uh, reverse. It stopped, and we couldn't start it. Yeah, it sounded like the battery was flat. Dead. So we're going to try and set off now. Um, Paul's going to film it and see if it works. <coughs> I can't believe it. But no, that was, that was a bit weird. Uh, really? Yeah. I can't get it into gear. Okay, so here we go again. It's gone. Car's not going into gear. <coughs> which means we ain't moving. Okay. This is, is, is. This is. Witches. It's the witches. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right, just in case anybody's, you know, wondering what's going on, we're not making this shit up. I know this it, is real. it looked real, it looks atmospheric, it, you know, it adds to it. But this isn't bullshit right now because the car ain't going into gear. We just said let's set off, go and find somewhere else to go. Yeah, and we ain't moving. We ain't moving. And so it's... Yeah. And again, the last time I was here, weird stuff happened. I'm hoping I'm not jinxed. Yeah. But Sean was slagging off Alice not earlier on. So I'm going to phone um, some of the crew who've left us alone and uh, we'll get recovery out. Yeah. See you soon. We hope! Hi Julie! You know what I believe this? I saw something in the woods um, and then we got into the car, tried to start it and then the thing wouldn't start. Well it started, yeah, but it wouldn't go, it just, it, it, something happened to it. Hello? Julie? It's gone. Oh, you're kidding it's cut me. Off. Signal's gone. So that's mine gone. Yeah. James gone. Yours gone. Let's just hope they recover it. Find us. Oh, Christ. Pain in the ass. 
This is all we need. It just gets better, doesn't it? Yeah. We're stuck in the Pendle Hill in the middle of nowhere, and now the signal's gone. Wow. So right now all we have is this. So if anything happens, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jesus. You can recover it. You can recover the it. The data on yeah. the camera. Make a fortune out of it. Remember us. We yeah. love you, everybody. <laughs> we'll speak to you as soon as we get another update. Bye. 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 That rain coming down now. This is how it started last time. Is it? Yeah. Rain. We had the cloud come down, and we got the rain. Yeah. And we got that. We had some wind before. We had the, the wind kicking up. It just went downhill. And the, you know, I mean, it, it, it was a bad night. It was a frightening. We didn't even think we were going to get out of it. Well, that's how the recovery people find where we are. Yeah. I, I tell you what. I, I'll be honest because I've been here before. I'm not happy. Yeah. I'm, Shouldn't well, we went out outside before just to check it, didn't we? It just didn't feel right. No. So, <laughs> so we're safe in the car. Yeah, see what happens. Yeah. See you later, guys. Bye. 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 Oh, it's one for the GD scrapbook, isn't it? <laughs> Tonight, Ghost Mention Solo has not disappointed.